Our guest this week is a speaker, vlogger, and mother of 10 children, and the author of a brand new book entitled, Not On My Watch, How to Win the Fight for Family, Faith, and Freedom. Elizabeth Johnston, the activist mommy, welcome back. Thank you, it's so good to be with you. Glad to see you again. Your Activist Mommy website and social media accounts have been dedicated to fighting for religious liberty, pro-life issues, and the morality of our nation's children. Tell us about this new book, Not On My Watch, and the motivation behind it. Yeah, I really believe that Not On My Watch is going to inspire a lot of everyday Americans to get off of the sidelines and get on the front lines of the battle. Um, there's a lot of inspiring stories in Not On My Watch and a lot of uh, scriptural analogies. And I really believe that the public is going to enjoy this. Uh, we're looking forward to reading it. And I, I know that, again, uh, the abortion work, the anti-abortion work that you're doing is so critical. Could you talk a little bit about the upcoming Day of Mourning, how it relates to the book, and what people can do to participate in this very important pro-life cause? Absolutely. Ever since the New York uh, infanticide law was signed by Cuomo and not just signed, but celebrated by lighting up the World Trade Center pink. My inboxes have been absolutely slammed with desperate messages from Americans who are saying, I am done with being on the sidelines. I have got to get on the front lines and do something as a good Samaritan to save the lives of these children, these precious little innocent boys and girls that are made in the image of God. What can I do, Elizabeth? When are you going to New York? <laughs> They basically, basically left me with no option. And uh, we organized the day of mourning. We are calling this entire nation to repent with us, to mourn with us over the 46 years of bloodshed through abortion. We are asking everyone to wear black, to not shop, to print out the sign on our website and put it on the front door of your business and shut down your business on February 23rd, Saturday. And to gather either in homes or in churches and pray and repent for the sin of abortion. And we've also got an amazing rally planned in Albany, New York, uh, right at the epicenter of where the New York law was signed. I can, I can tell you more about that, too. We're super excited about it. Fantastic. Tell us a little bit about the chapter in your book, your upcoming book on abortion. What, what can moms and dads expect to see if they read that chapter? What advice do you have? Well, I really give a lot of personal stories about babies who we have been able, even been blessed, to be able to be used by God to rescue from abortion. Um, that's really how the, the chapter starts. And I really believe that it will inspire people again to, to realize that you don't have to be a politician to make a difference. You know, you don't have to be a, a doctor or a lawyer or a political strategist that just as an everyday citizen, there are so many things in the culture war that we can do to make a, a massive difference. As, as one homeschooling mom, you know, I've been able to deal a massive blow to Teen Vogue magazine to the point that five months later, they um, shuttered their print edition. We've shut down sex brothels, uh, started a global movement against pornographic sex education. And again, uh, yeah, I have a following, but I didn't when I started. <laughs> and uh, I was carrying a diaper bag around with my 10 children homeschooling them every day. And so the social media has given us an ability to uh, affect culture in a powerful way. We just have got to, um, to really repent of our apathy and our silence and our fear of man. Shake all of that off and engage our culture and see what God can do for you. We've talked a little bit about the pro-life nature of the book. Can you give a, a, a potential reader out there a little more? What, what are their issues that they're going to find highlighted in your book and, and how to activistly, as an activist, take them on? What other issues are at the forefront of what you're writing? Yeah, um, obviously I have to deal a lot with the uh, gender situation, the transgender situation, um, with, with um, biblical marriage um, as opposed to homosexual marriage, uh, so many things. I talk about public schooling and homeschooling. I'm a homeschool mother and a huge homeschool advocate. So I talk about that in the book, but for the millions of parents who aren't choosing to homeschool, I also have a full section of the book of practical suggestions of how to keep your children safe from the radical agenda of the public schools. So I think people will find that it's not just inspiring the book, but that it's also practical. 
What, uh, I, having written a book myself, not quite as uh, really intimate a book as you've written, but being an author always reveals things to yourself about yourself. In the process of writing this book and all your experiences, uh, taking you from, from basically nowhere to in the major spotlight in these fights, what'd you learn about yourself? What'd you learn about your faith? I think I learned about myself that I really don't like finding time to pull away from my children. <laughs> Uh, that was the hardest part for me about writing the book was I do not enjoy being away from my children. And I had to have some chunks of time, obviously, uh, where I was focused on the book. Um, but I really am proud of this book. I, when I have had to edit it and, and reread it, I was like, wow, you know, I really, I can't believe I wrote this. <laughs> yeah, I really think that uh, God will be able to use this to, to bless people. And again, it's very easy to read. I've been told by others that it's super easy to read and fun to read. And I make you laugh a little bit and also make you angry a few times. So, <laughs> We'll talk a little bit about where can people get this book? What would be the best way to get their hands on it? Yeah, it's uh, basically everywhere books are sold. It's on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Target, which I boycott. Funny, funny enough. <laughs> the decision my publisher made, I guess, not me. Um, Christianbook.com, I noticed, had the, I think, the least expensive version of it. So for those who want to support a Christian business, uh, Christianbook.com would be an excellent option. It is, I did uh, read the audio book as well. So you can get the audio version downloaded so you can listen to it when you're driving or doing other activities. Elizabeth Johnston, also known as the Activist Mommy. It's always a great pleasure to speak with you. And thanks for standing up for moms and dads across the country. Oh, thank you so much. I love the work that you do with Freedom Project. God bless you guys. Talk to you soon.